<clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Kennedy Hills, photographer of Rainbow and Roof. Today is Saturday, October the 10th, 2015 AD. It is 23.16 hours, or 11.16 p.m. And in this video, I am going to take this picture of my uh, mom's cousin, Becky, who is cooking a meal, I think Thanksgiving, probably. And I'm going to give her heat vision. Okay, so it looks like she's like a superhero with, or a Kryptonian, or something like that, with heat vision. So let's, first thing I want to do, go to Photoshop here. I'm going to crop the picture, because I don't need the whole, I don't need all that information there. Okay, so the picture's way bigger than it needed to be. A lot of stuff I really don't need, so what I'm going to do is crop it. All this stuff behind her is kind of extra. And some of this is kind of neat, but not really needed. So I'm going to make it about that big. Then go to layer, flatten image, save it. Um, what I'm going to do is duplicate it. Um, and actually use the copy. Copy two. Okay, so copy three. Okay, so we want to get rid of that little box. Let's do text or something. Okay. Next, we want to go to the line tool. And we're going to have her go. Let's see. This is way too big. So hit delete. Let's try uh, a line of about, let's try 50 to a rat. That's not bad. About right here. Notice how I put it after the glasses and somewhere in the middle of the turkey. So let's. Or if we want to make it red. Uh, so what you're going to do is go to filter, blur. I prefer Gaussian blur. Okay, so you've got... Take it down. to a... That's about right. Now let's move it over just a little bit. Okay, so it looks like it's coming out of our glasses. And if I wanted to, I could make it look like it's coming out of our eyes. That's probably what I should do. Let's make it good. Okay. Now, what I'll do next. Uh, it's almost too short if I make it come out right. I mean, if we do the line, it'll make it a little bit longer. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Let's take that line. Make it longer. Make it red again. Filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. Uh, so, okay, so it remembers that. Okay, so we got that, what we want, and that's a 50, so I'd say about the inner line should be about 20. Okay. White, um, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You don't want that to be. Do you want it to be? You know, see, it's just a matter of taste, I suppose. That's for how far. To me, that looks pretty good. Okay, so she's really. She uses the eye beams, heat vision. Uh, to heat it up. Now, one thing you have to do, obviously, is go to, to make it look real good, is go to magnify the view here. 
go to where her glasses are. Go to eraser. Uh, let's see how big that eraser is. It's about right, actually. Okay, this layer. What we're going to do is show the glasses. I mean, it gives the illusion that. Let's see what this one does. Oh, this one does. Oh, can't do that. Okay, so we got that. So let's go back out to 30%. And see, I mean, it's not much of a difference, but there is a little difference there. Okay. Um. Flatten the image, save it, and uh, there you go. Uh, my mom's uh, cousin, Becky Kors, is now cooking, not only with natural gas, but with her heat vision to cook the, uh, I believe it, is that a turkey? Oh, it's like a turkey. It was too big to be, or too big to be a chicken. Anyway, I think it's, I think it's turkey. But anyway, there she is. That's how that's how I do heat vision. Now, if you want to do add one more thing, you can before I close out the video. If you want to, you know, make it look like some of the, there's some surrounding red. Let's do about two hundred, two hundred. Let's just go back here and just go boom. Uh, do red. And go filter blur. Let's see blur. And what you can really do is just really, really blur it out. So it's like there's an ambience of red around it. See how it turns her part of her shirt red. And it gives you that red aura in the area. See that's kind of too much, I think. What's the idea that there's red around it? See how it uh, Without it, your shirt's gray, but with you, this you can. And some of the objects around it are red. It's not real noticeable, but you don't want it to be real noticeable. So, about right there. And what you do is layer again, flatten the image, save it. And then, see, you've got areas that are like. Right here, and part of her shirt that are a little bit redder. Her hands are a little bit red, but not real, not real noticeable red, but they're more red than they were because you added a little uh, extra to it. But that's how you do it, people. Not much to it. That's how you add, at least that's how I do it, add uh, heat vision. Uh, help somebody cook. <laughs> or give the impression they're cooking food with heat vision. Until next time, I'm Ryan Bruce, and thanks for watching. Have a good day, and God bless.